Episode 2 Hiding or Ground Handling Good Practice to Become a Safer Pilot This is how kiting looks like. Kiting is the best exercise to become a safer and more confident pilot. It helps you to have more successful takeoffs, teaches you a lot about your paraglider flying behavior, and helps you to practice active flying. Conditions for kiting Moderate or gentle wind condition, ideally between 4 and 5 meters per second. Free area without any obstacles. No turbulences or gusts. Suitable equipment, a helmet, and harness with protection. Kiting is also a good practice for the most common reverse launch technique. Step 1. Build a wall. If there is some wind, the easiest way to open the canopy is to build a wall. It is possible with the A risers and brakes, or C and D risers and stronger wind. It also helps you to check the canopy and the wind direction. Step 2. Getting ready. Grab the brakes while facing the glider. The right brake should be in the right hand and the left one on the left hand. Then grab the risers in the right hand and, with the left fingers, also hold the right brake line over the pulley. The glider should be facing the wind, symmetrical, with the pilot standing in the center. Always check and remember the turning direction. Step 3. Lift the canopy. The pilot lifts the canopy by guiding up the canopy with the risers. A common mistake is to pull the risers towards the body instead of lifting them upwards. If the canopy does not rise up straight, then you can help the glider to recenter by breaking the upper side and moving under the center of the canopy. Stabilize the glider overhead. This is a really important step. Only turn when you have a stable canopy. Step 4. Turn to take off direction. If you have a stable canopy, turn to the takeoff direction. It's important to keep the glider pressurized, which usually means stepping forward and also to control the glider, which is easy, because both brakes are in the correct hand. Step 5. Keep the glider overhead. Try to keep the glider overhead by feeling the glider movements by a risers and brakes, and not by watching the canopy. Try to keep the canopy pressurized. If the pressure on the brakes weakens, which means the glider surges forward, then pull the brakes gently till the glider pressurizes. If the brake pressure is increasing, you should gently release the brakes. If the glider will be pulling you in any direction, you need to step under. Kiting for practice, it's very good to gain a better feel of your glider 
It helps you to be a safer pilot by learning active flying. The following exercise is only for practice and not for takeoff, although some pilots use it for takeoff. Step one is the same. Build a wall. If there is some wind, the easiest way to open the canopy is to build a wall. It is possible with the A risers and brakes, or C and D risers and stronger wind. It also helps you to check the canopy and the wind direction. Step 2. Getting ready. Grab the brakes in the left hand, then the A risers in the right one. Step 3. Lift the canopy. Lift with the same method as before but corrections should be made with the correct brake handle by letting go of the other brake. It requires practice to learn to always find the loose brake handle. Step 4. Keep the glider overhead. When the glider is overhead, let go of the A risers and use the brakes. The primary goal is to keep the glider above head, and various exercises can be practiced by moving around the glider. It will pull you in the direction as the canopy is leaning. It's important to use your body weight and bend your knees. It will also help you to guide the glider. Always pull the brakes downwards, alongside your body and not sidewards. When the wind is strong, use the rear risers to control the canopy or to kill the glider. Alternatively, you can also practice by laying down on the ground and practice controlling the glider. Step 5. Kill the glider. If you want to put the glider down, pull on both brakes strongly and deeply till the canopy starts to fall. If you don't want to smash your glider to the ground, then release the brakes a bit before the touchdown. In strong wind condition, it's easier by pulling the back riser.